Welcome to Time Capsule, the show that takes you back in time to explore the events and people that shaped our history. Today, we're going to travel back through November 11th, a date that has been marked by blood, honor, and heroism throughout history. In this episode, you're going to discover when a peaceful village in New York became the scene of a savage attack by British and Native American forces in 1778, and how a simple idea of honoring an unknown soldier turned into a national symbol of respect and gratitude for all the fallen heroes in the U.S. military, and also how November 11th became to be known as Veterans Day and why it is celebrated. So get ready to learn something new and exciting. This is Time Capsule and you're watching it on Now You Know More. The Cherry Valley Massacre was a brutal attack by British and Iroquois forces on a fort in the town of Cherry Valley in central New York on November 11, 1778, during the American Revolutionary War. The attack was led by Walter Butler and Joseph Brandt, targeting the town of Cherry Valley, which was occupied by about 250 settlers and militia. The fort was also housed to the 7th Massachusetts Regiment. The attack was motivated by anger of the Iroquois, who had suffered from the destruction of their villages and crops by American forces in the previous months. The Iroquois also wanted to avenge the alleged atrocities committed by the Americans at the Battle of Wyoming, where many of their kinsmen were killed and captured. The raiders surprised the town and the fort, which was unprepared for the assault, despite receiving warnings. The Iroquois, especially the Seneca, showed no mercy, killing men, women, and children indiscriminately. Some of the victims were scalped, tortured, and mutilated. The British soldiers and the Mohawk attempted to restrain the Seneca with very little success. The fort resisted the attack but suffered heavy casualties. The exact number of casualties is not confirmed, but some estimates are that 14 soldiers, 11 militiamen, and 30 civilians were murdered. The raiders only lost one Seneca and a British soldier, and only a few were wounded. The Cherry Valley Massacre outraged the Americans and provoked calls for retaliation. In 1779, General George Washington ordered the Sullivan Expedition, a large-scale campaign that devastated the Iroquois land and broke their allegiance with the British. That was most definitely a sad day in American history. But now we're going to move on to the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. This is a monument in Arlington National Cemetery that honors the fallen U.S. service members whose remains have not been identified. It was dedicated on November 11, 1921 by President Warren G. Harding. He also laid a wreath on the tomb and gave a speech to commemorate the occasion. The date was chosen because it coincided with the third anniversary of the armistice that ended the First World War. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is a symbol of respect and gratitude for the sacrifices of the unknown heroes who gave their lives for their country. Another tragic event that happened on November 11th was the crash of United Airlines Flight 227. The flight was a Boeing 727 that departed from New York and was scheduled to land in San Francisco with intermediate stops in Cleveland, Chicago, Denver, and Salt Lake City. However, the flight crash-landed in Salt Lake City International Airport, killing 43 of the 91 people on board. The cause of the crash was determined to be the captain's failure to recognize the correct and excessive sink rate on the final approach, resulting in a touchdown 335 feet short of the runway. The aircraft struck a ditch and broke apart, bursting into flames. The accident was one of the worst in the history of the United Airlines and the Boeing 727. Up next is birthdays for November 11th. If you would like to have your name in an upcoming video, comment your birthday down below and you could be featured sometime in the near future. Stanley Tucci, an American actor, was born on November 11, 1960 in Peekskill, New York. He got his start on Broadway and then worked as a model for Levi Jeans in 1985. But my favorite character that I've ever seen him portray was Morte from Undercover Blues. Leonardo DiCaprio is another American actor and film producer who was born on November 11, 1974 in Los Angeles, California. An interesting fact about Leonardo is that while his mother was pregnant, she was admiring a painting by Leonardo da Vinci, and in that moment she felt the baby kick for the first time. That is when she decided to name Leonardo after the famous artist. Up next isn't really a birthday to celebrate, but is one that is interesting. Bell Guinness was born on November 11, 1859 in Norway. Bell ended up being one of the most prolific female serial killers in history. 
If you're interested in hearing her story, I actually have a full video on her and you should check it out if you have not already. If you're still with me and you enjoyed this video so far, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button for me so YouTube knows to share it with others. It really does help to keep me motivated to make more videos for you. Now on to Fast Facts. In 1855, a powerful earthquake occurred in Edo, Japan, causing considerable damage from the shaking and subsequent fires. It had a death toll of 7,000 to 10,000 people and destroyed around 14,000 buildings. In 1620, the Mayflower Compact was signed by the Pilgrims at Cape Cod, the first framework of government in the territory that is now known as the United States of America. In 1918, World War I ended with the signing of the armistice between the Allies and Germany. In 1966, NASA launched Gemini 12. In 2012, a strong earthquake with the magnitude of 6.8 hits northern Burma, killing at least 26 people. November 11th is National Sunday Day, and also Veterans Day. Veterans Day marks the anniversary of the end of World War I, when the armistice between the Allied Nations and Germany went into effect on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month in 1918. Veterans Day was originally called Armistice Day, but it was renamed in 1954 by President Dwight D. Eisenhower to include veterans of all wars. Well, my friends, it seems we have come to another ending, but don't worry, I didn't forget about the joke of the day. What do you call a soldier who covers himself in sage, thyme, salt, pepper, and saffron? He's a seasoned veteran. Okay, guys, until next time, take care, stay safe, and thanks for listening.